Are you building a Minecraft village? And is it just looking not right? Is it missing some sort of life or pizzazz? Well, the thing that fixes that is details. And in this video, I have 25 designs for decorations you can add to your medieval village or city. All right, let's get into it. So the first thing we're going to look at is carts. Carts are like the easiest thing that you can add to your world that just brings life into whatever you have going on. So here we have a few designs. This is a really large cart. It's about two by five or six, depending on how you count this. But it's a really big cart. Looks really good. You use these fence gates out at the front as the handles to be pulled by either a horse or a donkey or even a person. But it's super, super handy. As you can see, we have these floating signs. You just place them on the outside of this trap door really easy design and we kind of carry this over into the next few ones where we have kind of the same idea just smaller and then even smaller only able to hold really one block and then all the way down to the smallest one which is just a hopper or a cauldron with two oak trap doors on it on the side to look like wheels and then an open fence gate to look like the two handles so carts are always a super easy thing to add that always brings a bit more life into what is happening. Always makes your village look more interesting. The next thing we're going to look at is market stalls. Now market stalls are also super easy to add in. You can have so many different designs for them. You can have standalone ones or ones that are built into the side of building like this one is in theory. But these are super, super nice. But these are so easy to add into your world. Clearly you can see this one is selling some sort of plants. There's this fun planter box we have here using minecarts, pots, and trap doors. Looks really good. Yeah, market stalls are really nice. Another great way to add life into your builds. Next up is a public well. This is just a simple small well design. Obviously you can make bigger ones. But a cup here, flower pot to get water, along with a few of the big decorated pots, in theory to hold water pulled from the well, is a really great touch to put into like your city squares and stuff like that in small villages. So yeah, wells are a great option just to add a little bit of something extra to your city squares. Next up we have piles of firewood. These are really nice on the outside of houses. It just gives something to put on a blank wall. If you ever have a wall that you don't know what to do with, you can stack logs and campfires up on it. Next up we have street lights. These can be just as simple as this, or they can be even more complex and intricate using redstone lamps or stuff like that. But these are always a nice touch to add. It keeps mobs from spawning in your city or village, and it also just adds a little bit of brightness at night time and keeps the monsters away. Next up we have crates of food or other things for animals. So if you get raw iron and raw copper, it looks really good as like maybe potatoes in a barrel or carrots in a barrel. You can also do this with hay and even snow layers to look like maybe a bucket of milk. This looks really great outside of your farms and your barns and all of the areas where you keep your animals. There's really not much to it. You just place trapdoors around everything. Super easy to make and it just adds a little bit of extra life to your farm area. If you have a fishing village on the docks of your village, one thing you can add is these. These look like fishing nets that are being hung out to dry when the boats have come in for the day. This is really nice. It looks awesome in larger scale on a full dock. It looks like something is always going on. Really, really good touch to add to your fishing villages. Our next idea is a dry dock. Now, if you know what a dry dock is, you'll understand that why these are necessary. But if you don't know what a dry dock is, whenever you have smaller boats and you have a small harbor, you don't always want the boats in the water because then they get in the way, they kind of clog up intersections. So you build dry docks, which are these ways where you can have hoist boats up onto land and have them on these pallets where they can then be rolled back down into the water. So these are great if you have small boats in your village. Usually this looks great in a small fishing village, something like that. But these are really awesome to do with a small boat. Just put them up like this in a flat area. 
It looks really, really good. It looks like something is actively being used. Next up, this one is super, super simple, but it's one of my personal favorites. I saw this in a YouTube video a long time ago. But what we have here is a simple little painter stand. Now, if you want to, you can push these armor stands together towards the middle of this block to be more aligned in the middle. I didn't feel like doing that. But as you can see, we can have a little cup here for the painter to hold all their brushes and water. And you can be looking out over a bit of terrain with a painting on it to show that somebody is coming by and acknowledging the beauty of your world and has decided to sit down and paint out what they see. So this is just a really artistic one to do. This is something you kind of put along the side of a path near a bench or something like that. But it's a really, really fun one to draw attention to. It's really not that difficult. These are just here so that the armor stands can stay on the slab and you don't see it. Another really, really fun design. All right, here we have a fish cleaning station. So this is really easy to make. We have ice in a barrel. The ice is where we can put our fish that has, has recently... Mm. Here we have ice in a barrel, which is where all of the fish that have been caught for the day go after they've been cleaned. A barrel of prismarine looks like assorted fish guts or fish scales or something to deal with fish. But this is another really good thing to add out with the boat and the fishing nets. Looks really good alongside of those. Obviously if you had a invisible armor stand plug-in, this would look even better with the fish just kind of sitting here. But it's another really fun idea. If you have a fishing village, just something else to add to bring a little bit more life into your village. Next up we have kegs of ale or wine. So we have a little ale keg right here and we have a bigger one for wine right here. These are great in your city squares where you might be having a celebration of some kind or just around for people to be drinking. These are good in castles too. Really, really easy design. You just place trap doors around the blocks, have a barrel with a tripwire hook coming out of it, placed on some scaffolding. Super easy design, but one that I think is really, really useful for your more public spaces in your villages. Next up, we have another market stall design. This one is really simple. This one is using the string technique instead of slabs. You place string on a block like this, and then you can place carpet on top of it. Since the string is almost invisible, it looks like the carpet is floating. You have to be careful though not to break the string or else it also breaks the carpet as well. But this is a really good idea to use. Obviously the string is a little bit obtrusive whenever you get in here, but from the outside you can't really tell it's there and just makes a nice little market stall to be selling like, you know, flowers or something like that. It's easy to put on the side of a building. All right, next up we have benches. These are super nice to put in the sides of like roads, like this easy place for someone to sit down in. Here, this looks a little weird, but it's because I used a stair when the ground is made out of slabs. But I think it makes a nice effect here with this bench. It looks like it's just raised up a little bit. Also makes the trap doors sit at an interesting height. Just a nice little bench. Of course, you can have many, many designs. If you want to see more designs of these things, let me know in the comments. But simple bench design, just a proof of concept. Next up, we have road signs. If your world is really large, you might have roads that lead off to various different places all over your world. So you could have a road that leads to Comment Grove or Subscribe Town or Like the Video Coast. You know, these are all places in your world, and if someone was walking through, it'd be nice to know where they need to go to get somewhere. And it also just adds a lot of immersion into your world. Next up, we have just this storage mess. This is the easiest thing you could possibly do. All you have to do is craft up chests, barrels, note blocks, and just kind of throw them around, and it looks like things are waiting to be shipped out at a dock or waiting to be put in a cart to travel somewhere else just a really easy thing to do it always looks like something is busy super super simple easy way to add more detail to your world all right we're now getting towards more of the interesting ideas as it seems like we, we had a lot of very easy ideas easy ones to come up with as we get down here you're going to notice that things got a little bit more difficult in the idea department but here we have a sawmill i think this was supposed to go here too 
but a sawmill is a really interesting idea to add to your world. Obviously, if you have wooden buildings, those logs used for the buildings have to be cut some way. So if you're using something a little bit more advanced, you can more advanced historically, you can have a sawmill or a lumber mill used to chop the wood down, cut wood, cut logs, make it look nice. We're gonna say that again. If you if you're in an area that you have more historically advanced, you could have a lumber mill, which is used to cut down these logs into planks and stuff like that. Show kind of where all of the wood and all the houses come from. Super easy to do, of course. Hay bales on the ground with the top face looks like sawdust being spilled on the ground from the saw. Obviously, of course, you'd have a log stack, kind of like you have with the firewood over there. But this is another really, really good design. Super easy to do. You can actually build an entire lumber mill to go along with this. But this is just another easy idea to make. Looks like something's going on. All right, we're now getting towards more of the interesting ideas, as it seems like. We, we had a lot of very easy ideas, easy ones to come up with. As we get down here, you're going to notice that things got a little bit more difficult in the idea department. But here we have a sawmill. I think this was supposed to go here, too. But a sawmill is a really interesting idea to add to your world. Obviously, if you have wooden buildings, those logs used for the buildings have to be cut some way. So if you're using something a little bit more advanced, you can more advanced historically, you can have a sawmill or a lumber mill used to chop the wood down, cut wood, cut logs, make it look nice. We're going to say that again. If you if you're in an area that you have more historically advanced, you could have a lumber mill, which is used to cut down these logs into planks and stuff like that. Show kind of where all of the wood and all the houses come from. Super easy to do, of course. Hay bales on the ground with the top face looks like sawdust being spilled on the ground from the saw. Obviously, of course, you'd have a log stack, kind of like you have with the firewood over there. But this is another really, really good design. Super easy to do. You can actually build an entire lumber mill to go along with this. But this is just another easy idea to make. Looks like something's going on. Next up, we have an outdoor blacksmith. Now, this is just an easy design to make. Also, all of these are really easy, but of course, you want to have your different raw iron. You want to have your actual forge, buckets of water for dumping stuff in an anvil, and maybe even an armor stand to show off some of the stuff this smith is making. A little bit of coal on the ground to look like coal that's supposed to go into the fire to stoke it, make more hot iron to be used for swords and armor. Super easy to do. This is a really fun one. If you're in a more of a village setting, of course your village is going to need someone to make all their armor and weapons. If you want to know where, how the smoke effect gets here, underneath this magma block there is a campfire. Place a campfire underneath the magma block. Smoke will go up all the way through it, and it just looks like it's there, smoldering away. After you have all of your armor and swords and weapons made in your armory, you gotta have somewhere to train all your troops. So this is a troop training ground crossbow. You can throw swords in here. Here's a target dummy to shoot arrows into. Whoopsies! Anyways, shoot bows and arrows into this nasty-looking goblin dummy thing, along with some armor stands with leather and chain armor. Looks really nice. Looks like someone is here to defend the city in case of raiders or monsters come attacking. Another thing to add, if your city is bigger and more decorative, you can add these two tall flower beds. Have a small retaining wall along the side of your road with flowers raised up just behind it just gives a little bit of pop of color against all the brown gray neutral tones of your city. Maybe in a back alley you could even throw a little storage chest thrown up against the wall that maybe a gardener might use to keep track of all these flower beds over here. Just maybe a simple little idea to throw in somewhere hidden. Alright, well, if your gardener doesn't do a very good job, maybe you might need to pull him over to the gallows. Now, this was an idea that one of my friends brought up to me while I was 
desperately looking for ideas to get to 25. But it's, um, it's a bit of a gruesome one. You don't need this rope here. This is actually just a chicken under a slab underneath the block here. But it looks like there is a rope now attached to this. I believe if you kill the chicken, the rope will stay attached to this fence. But it's a nice... Well, I wouldn't even say it's nice. It's a fun detail to add in. Give a little bit more lore, maybe if you're hanging pirates or thieves on the open road. Something interesting to add in to your city squares. And our last idea was one that I struggled a bit to make an example of because it was just so out there that I didn't even realize. But if you can guess this before I tell you, hats off to you. But this is a public toilet. So in medieval times, people generally didn't have their own bathrooms. They had to use public bathrooms. So we have these big chamber pots for people to, well, do their business in. And it appears that some people might have missed. But this is a really easy thing to add. Of course, you can make this more detailed or... Preferably less detailed. I don't know if we need more turds on the ground, but this is our 25th design. As you can see, they got a little bit more out there as we went along, but that is it for this video. So that is 25 medieval decoration designs to add to your world. If you have any other ideas, throw them down in the comments for someone else to use. But that's it for me. This is Sticks. See you later.